director of not only Expedition 45, but 46 as well, when he returns home uh, to complete his year in space next March 3rd, Scott Kelly will have uh, accumulated 522 days in space on his four flights. Eight minutes now until module separation, 33 minutes until Soyuz landing. The International Space Station has been uh, maneuvering uh, to place itself uh, into an orientation uh, to uh, allow uh, the crew on board the station as well as external instruments to try to capture a glimpse of the plasma trail of the Soyuz TMA-16M as it descends into the Earth's atmosphere. Just uh, six minutes away from the anticipated uh, separation of the three sections of the Soyuz vehicle. Altair MCC Moscow, how copy? We copy loud and clear. The uh, KSS rescue aids are activated and the helmets are closed. Uh, the temperature is on the landing side is 16 degrees. Uh, it has fallen. Slava, you know you are dropping off. I told you that we activated KSS rescue aids and closed the visors. Did you copy? I copy, Gennady. Soyuz Commander Gennady Padalka reporting that the crew has closed the visors on their helmets, uh, on their Sokol launch and entry suits. Meanwhile, uh, the International Space Station has completed its maneuver to uh, provide uh, a possibility of uh, re-entry uh, viewing uh, by external instruments on the station as well as the crew on board. 30 minutes until touchdown. And uh, as we approach sunrise at the landing site in Kazakhstan, uh, some of the uh, early uh, arrivals, uh, part of the search and recovery forces, uh, ground-based, who arrived at the landing site uh, by all-terrain vehicles. You can see uh, somewhat overcast skies as uh, the first glimmer of dawn approaches. Uh, one of the uh, recovery uh, force uh, personnel on a satellite telephone keeping tabs uh, 
as the Soyuz uh, is uh, just a few minutes away from module separation. Again, this view from the landing site, uh, about 90 miles to the southeast of the town of Jezkazgan. We're about two and a half minutes away from uh, the point at which uh, the Soyuz uh, computers will uh, pyrotechnically separate the three sections of the Soyuz vehicle. That module separation uh, expected to occur at an altitude of 87 miles above the Earth. Time to touch down 27 and a half minutes. Is, uh, in progress and uh, the controlled descent also is on we are standing by uh, for the time zero three in notable uh, forty five Here in Mission Control Houston, uh, a notable European Space Agency presence uh, on hand. Luca Parmitano, spacecraft communicator, uh, joining Flight Director Brian Smith on console, uh, and also on hand uh, to watch uh, the activities, European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Pesquet, who served as the backup uh, to ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen uh, for launch activities down in Baikonur. Also in the viewing room is uh, ESA astronaut Tim Peake, who's in the home stretch of his training that uh, will culminate uh, with his launch on December 15th for six months on board the International Space Station. So we're standing by now for confirmation of module separation. Everything continuing uh, to go on the timeline as planned with landing schedule just over 25 minutes from now. And uh, module separation has now been confirmed.